Alright, so hopefully we can end it off on this part. We're going to read Zechariah chapter 1 verse 6. But they're not my words and my decrees, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, overtake your ancestors. Then they repented and said, Yahweh Almighty has done to us what our ways and practices deserve, just as he determined to do. Psalms 131 verse 1 a song of accents of David my heart is not proud Yahweh my eyes are not haughty I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me so the Most High Yahweh he tells us how he hates haughty eyes pride and arrogancy and therefore people who are over righteous this is how they are they are the ones who want to concern themselves with great matters and things that are just too wonderful for them. For instance, the Most High Yahweh, He has created things that are too wonderful beyond human understanding. But here it is, humans trying to think that they have all of the understanding to God's creation and to His doings. So this is why you know, the Most High Yahweh leads us besides quiet waters. I mean, me personally, I make my videos whenever the Most High Yahweh puts His Spirit on me and His words in my mouth to do it. You know, I had said that I'm not going to no longer be making videos just to make videos, you understand? And this channel here, we're going to keep it according to the words of the Most High. And it's going to it's going to be sincere. It's going to be pure offerings. You know, I don't like to make videos forced. You understand? I like to wait until the Most High Yahweh puts His Spirit in me to do His will. Alright, because you, you, you got to understand that uh, we're not over-righteous and we're not over-wicked. We're following the righteous path of the Most High. We're following His ways. Okay, so you know, if we don't know something, we leave it in the hands of the Most High. In due time, Yahweh will reveal it to us. This is why we trust in Yahweh, our God. We wait for His words to come to pass because the proud, the arrogant, they know it all. You understand that? The proud, the arrogant, you can't tell them nothing. And that's the God on His truth. Okay, this is what it's talking about. Their eyes are haughty. Their spirituality is haughty. That's something that God hates. Because it all goes down to pride. It all goes down to the same sins which Satan committed against the Most High. Verse 2 says, But I have calmed and quieted myself. You see that? So this is how the Most High Yahweh makes us to be a better person. All right? It don't matter about the haters. You know, the haters are going to say whatever they want about us. Oh, he fell off. Oh, you know, the Most High is not dealing with him the way he used to be. That's all right. They can say what they want about us. Because why? Well, you know, they all are like the raging waters, right? This is the reason why the Most High Yahweh says that they get no peace. Because they like to rage against those who the Most High Yahweh is dealing with, all right? Those who the Most High Yahweh is basically putting His Spirit on, those who the Most High Yahweh is teaching His ways to, they like to rage against the Most High, they like to rage against us. So, again, it says, but I have calmed and quieted myself. And how do we do that? Well, by following in the ways of the Most High, okay? It says, I am weaned. I am like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child, I am content. Isaiah 29 and 18. In that day, the deaf will hear the words of the scroll. And out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. You see this here? In that day, the deaf will hear the words of the scroll. Malachi chapter 3 verse 16. Remember, it tells you about that scroll. That scroll of remembrance that was written in the presence of Yahweh concerning those who 
feared Yahweh and honored his name. Right? And look what it says here. And out of gloom and darkness, the eyes of the blind will see. Why? Because Yahweh is a sun and a shield. Okay? No good thing does he withhold to those whose walk is blameless. You see that? So the Most High Yahweh says that he's going to redeem the lame, the sincere. Okay? It does not matter what anybody got to say about us, about them, about me. This is why it says this here. Once more, the humble will rejoice in Yahweh. Not the proud, not those who are being led besides the raging waters. Of course not. Because they're proud. They're arrogant. It says the humble. Who are the humble? The humble are those who have been quieted. Those who are content. Once more, the humble will rejoice in Yahweh. The needy will rejoice in the Holy One of Yahshua. You see that? This is the reason why the Most High Yahweh says that he was going to send his people some help. Alright, they were not going to be lost in the dark. You see what I'm saying? But these other people, right? Well, you know, they rejoice in worshipping these worthless idols. You see that? They're not needy. They received their consolation already. You see what I'm saying? So what do they need? They don't need anything. They need to stop believing in lies. That's what they need to do. It says here, the needy, those who are really trying to follow in the ways of the Most High, they're the ones who are going to rejoice. They're going to understand that the things that they have been taught were all lies. And it says the ruthless will vanish. The mockers will disappear. All these religions, right? All these people who are given over to bloodshed, the ruthless will vanish. The mockers will disappear. And all who have an eye for evil will be cut down. You see that? Talking about all these people who have a spirituality for evil, right? All of these people who are hell-bent on religion will be cut down. Look what it says here. You think that this is not talking about you religious folks? Let's go ahead and show you this here. It says, those who with a word make someone out to be guilty. Who ensnared the defender in court and with false testimony, right? What false testimony is this? Oh, well, I mean, they're talking about their New Testament. And with false testimony, deprive the innocent of justice, right? Because why? Because they call all of those who don't believe in their Hamashiach, Jebus, Geis, and Antichrist, right? Which the word Antichrist will only be found in the New Testament. So that's a false testimony, depriving the innocent of justice, right? Which goes hand in hand with Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. And it says here. Woe to those who make unjust laws. You see that? They changed the original laws of God. And now you have to go through a man who supposedly died on a cross. In order to receive salvation. And whosoever does not believe in this man shall be condemned to eternal hell. Right? Woe to those who make unjust laws. To those who issue oppressive decrees. Every Sunday, you have to give me your money. Right? That's what it's talking about. Is it not true? You have to give the pastors your money. Because why? Because the pastors, I mean, they are ministers and shepherds of, of Jebus Geis. Okay? Look what it says here. To deprive the poor of their rights. And withhold justice from the oppressed of my people, making widows their prey and robbing the fatherless. Who are the fatherless? Well, obviously these people who are worshipping a false god. Yahweh is our father, our creator, the creator of all mankind. So these people who do not know Yahweh, their God, our God, they're the ones being robbed. They're being robbed from the truth. You see that? That's the reason why you are your own worst enemy. Okay? Again, those who with a word make someone out to be guilty. Who is that? That's some of these religious people. You still don't believe? Let's go ahead and show you this here. Okay. So let's start off 
in Isaiah 65 verse 3 a people who continually provoke me to my very face right which the face of the Most High is his word all right why do they continually provoke him to his very face because these people will go ahead and tell you oh yeah our Hamashiach can be found in the Old Testament oh yeah the Most High talked about our Hamashiach a people who continually provoke me to my very face offering sacrifices in gardens and burning incense on altars of bricks right which quickly goes hand in hand with this scripture here let's go ahead and get it oops psalms 50 and 16 but to the wicked person god says right the most high says what right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips right oh the only begotten son of god he is the root of david yes that is the one who the most high sent right it says what right have you to recite his laws oh yes the only begotten son of god can be found in the old testament oh yes that's the root of david but the most high is telling you here what right have you to recite his laws or take his covenant on your lips right because the most high Yahweh says that he was going to make a covenant with the root of David with all of those who the Most High Yahweh was, was gonna raise up in the last days right you see that because you know in case you people got it all twisted right let's go ahead and just show you this here you know I'm nobody's leader you understand that through the Spirit of the Most High I do what I do and it's never to uh to try to be in competition with anybody and the sincere servants of the Most High they already know that you know peace blessings and love to each and every one of them and their families whether you are a brother or a sister and they know that they know that I do what I do for the most high Yahweh sincerely for the most high Yahweh and sincerely to help our brothers and sisters out those that are still not sure you know those who are still in in the dark this is why the most high Yahweh is doing all of this okay he's gonna lead us besides quiet waters each and every one of us are leaders all right we are followers of Yahweh who is our God who is our king our leader right our judge you see that but he puts his spirit in us he puts his words in us to help each other out so we are all leaders you understand that and we're all followers of Yahweh so it is on you to lead yourself besides those quiet waters because Yahweh is there to guide you he's gonna put his spirit on his chosen people he's gonna put his words in their mouth and we're gonna be doing what we have to do for the most high Yahweh and for our people Psalms 139 and 1 says for the director of music of David a psalm you have searched me Yahweh and you know me you know when I sit and when I rise you perceive my thoughts from afar you see that let's go ahead and understand this here right because you know they say that Jebus is the root of David Jebus is the only begotten son of God so look what it says here about Jebus because you see the Most High he knows the coming and going of the root of David so look what it says here about the fall of Sennacherib who is you know the king of Assyria Isaiah 37 and 28 but I know where you are and when you come and go and how you rage against me because you rage against me and because your insolence has reached my ears I will put my hook in your nose and my bit in your mouth and I will make you return by the way you came you see that this is what's going on right now okay so again you know this is the reason why a lot of people they can't understand the times that we're living in because they have got complacent with with the lies that their enemies have given them not understanding that Yahweh's thoughts are not our thoughts Yahweh's ways are not our ways so you know you have to be willing to turn to his way 
the most high how is not going to change anything just because i can't get it just because you can't get it all right so each and every one of us are our own worst enemies psalms 139 and 2 you know when i sit and when i rise you perceive my thoughts from afar this is why the most high Yahweh says that whatever's being done in the dark is going to come out to the light this is why you know who you call jesus guys right Jesu christos Irushai, he's being exposed as the lying serpent that he is and it says here psalms 139 and 3 you discern my going out and my lying down you are familiar with all my ways before a word is on my tongue you yahweh know it completely all right so again as i have stated a few minutes ago i don't ever like to make videos you know forced i like to wait for, you know for the most high yahweh to fully put his spirit in me and uh you know to fully show me what he wants me to teach his people because again you know there's some people out there that they do it for competition there's some people out there that want to do it for all the wrong reasons you have to do this for the most high yahweh you have to understand that he is the one that knows our inward thoughts isaiah chapter 2 verse 12 yahweh almighty has a day in store for all the proud and lofty for all that is exalted and they will be humbled for all the cedars of lebanon tall and lofty and all the oaks of bashan for all the towering mountains and all the high hills for every lofty tower and every fortified wall for every trading ship and every stately vessel the arrogance of men will be brought low and human pride humbled yahweh almighty will be exalted in that day which uh you know it's a precept to this here In Psalms 29 and 5, the voice of Yahweh breaks the cedars. Yahweh breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. Okay? So the voice of Yahweh is like a torrent of water. You understand? Which we're going to get into that most high willing. I said, you know, that this was going to be the last part, but if, uh, if we don't have enough time to bring out everything, we'll just make another part. So let's continue here in Jeremiah 45 and 5. Should you then seek great things for yourself? Do not seek them. Right? So instead, you're supposed to be seeking Yahweh, your God, right now. Okay? This is why, you know, the Most High Yahweh says that uh, our people, they need to stop eating at the mountain shrines. Because they have become complacent. They're given over to the lies that their enemies have been feeding them with. You see, you have to understand something here. You see, your enemies... You know, they look at you as you you are their creation. And they think that they are your God. You understand? Because they gave you this money that you love so much. They gave you the things that you that you take with pride so much that you know that you are uh, basically take to heart. This is why the Most High Yahweh was saying, "Do not seek them, for I will bring disaster in all people," declares Yahweh. But wherever you go, I will let you escape with your life. Why? because you trust in your how that's why okay because why because you're not drunk with the wine of babylon so i want to go ahead and quickly show you something here right we don't got much time in this part of the video but i want to show you something here right because to me to 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 be drunk right to be drunk means you know to be uh given over to to the ways of of a wicked nation let's go ahead and just bring it up and then she made it as a monument for her mother moot it says making for her a porch i haven't actually found this particular hieroglyph elsewhere a porch of drunkenness now the word for drunkenness in egyptian is tech and it's written with a t the het and then of course determined with a beer jar there you go just wanted to show you that right so the Egyptian word for, for drunkenness is tech, technology. You see that? So we'll talk more about this in the last part. 
that we'll make coming up.